Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about neovascular glaucoma. Now when patients present with neovascular glaucoma, usually they have poor vision to begin with, but they can go on to develop a blind and painful eye. The painful bit is something that we try and avoid in a patient that already has a blind eye. So if you want to learn more about this, then please stay tuned. The two more, most common causes for neovascular glaucoma are vein occlusions and diabetic eye disease. Other causes also include artery occlusions, retinal detachments, and even the presence of tumors within the back of one's eye. What happens in these conditions is you get ischemia or a lack of oxygen in the back of the eye. This also translates to a similar issue at the front of the eye. This then leads to the development of new and abnormal blood vessels at the front of the eye. These blood vessels develop within the drainage angle in the eye and then this leads to problems with high pressure and then secondary neovascular glaucoma. It is important to identify the cause for the neovascular glaucoma and treat the underlying condition. So for diabetics, they may require further laser treatment, and this is also the case for patients with vein occlusions. Once the underlying condition has been treated, if possible, then patients are medically managed to try and lower their intraocular pressure. This will involve possible tablets, definitely drops to lower the pressure, and then agents to dilate the pupil, which will help with the discomfort and the elevated pressure. If fail in this, patients may require surgery. So it's important to remember to counsel patients to attend for regular side tests when they have neovascular glaucoma because these changes can be detected early. So thank you for watching the short video about neovascular glaucoma. I hope you've learned something new. If you have liked this video, please click comment, like and subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you so much. Until next time.